Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, if you could subscribe, please, a thumbs up or a comment below on the video would be fantastic. We're closing on 12,000, so every little helps is appreciated. Three players I want to talk about today. Christopher Scott, I want to talk about Liam Scales, and I'm going to talk about Luke O'Connell. So first of all, Christopher Scott. I talked about this guy over the weekend. Celtic and Bayern Munich are initial talks of a quarter of a million fee for this guy to be coming to Glasgow. Now, reports in Germany tonight is that Bayern Munich have activated a contract extension for him to stay at Bayern Munich. don't know if that's good news or it's bad news. What I see from it is basically they're trying to get a higher amount of money because, you know, there's a couple of clubs sniffing around. If you don't know who Christopher Scott is, best way to break it down for you is he's an under-20 German international. He can declare for Ghana if he wants. He's played twice for the Bayern Munich senior team. As we all know, Bayern Munich is quality. And he's obviously played for the Bayern Munich second team. Quarter of a million. His contract is about to expire. They've triggered it to sign him a new deal. We could be come to a case that could cost us more than quarter of a million. We could be looking at about 1.5 million at this race. So we need to fill the gap for Tom Rogers that's gone. I know we have David Turnbull. We have a Tate. We have a Royley in there that could do a job. And Robertson as well. That's came out and said him recently that he, he needs a, he's good enough to play for Celtic. So if young Scott Robertson could step up to the plate and do a job in the midfield, let's see what happens. Actions speak louder than words. Regards to Liam Scales, came out yesterday that he's linked with a move to Aberdeen on a permanent basis. I potentially like Liam Scales. I think we're we're lacking in that left back position. We want to clear off Ball and Goalie. Adam Montgomery's at the comeback from his loan stint. Um, Udigidi could play there even though he's a preferred right back Udigidi looks like he's coming back from a spell in Belgium as well they're not willing to pay the fee I'll stand so let's see what happens there Scales I think a long move would suit him well like a Dundee United or an Aberdeen or the Hibs I think we need to keep him on the books he has potential he's seen when he does play he does nick up a goal or two he's that goal against Dundee United away at Tannadice then scoring against Wright Rovers as well in the cup so um I'm more scales. I hope he stays at Celtic as I met him a couple of days ago. Nice guy. We spoke for about 40 minutes in Glasgow International. Good old chat we had about Ange, about the team, about the Champions League coming up. Everything. Good conversation. I'm looking forward to hopefully meeting him again in the in the near future. Regards to Luke O'Connell, I know he's off our books. Scott Brown and Fleetwood are looking to get this guy. He had a great season with Queen's Park that got promoted from League One into the Scottish Championship and he played 32 games last season, 7 goals and 6 assists in there. It's a shame never walked out for him at Celtic and I hope Scott Brown does sign him on a permanent basis. Obviously he's a free agent so he signs him, gets him playing football and he's closer to his homeland which is Liverpool, you know. It's only up the road, Fleetwood's only up north of Blackpool so let's see what happens. Once I have more of an update regards to Christopher Scott's folks, I will pull up on the channel. And I know there's going to be la names linked to the channel and to the club all the time. And that's the way it goes. And if you can't understand that, folks, don't watch the content. If you enjoy the content, majority of you do, do subscribe. And I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.